Hey everyone, this is Oscar with Detail Groove and in this video we're going to be talking about the tools and products you need to do an interior cleaning. So this isn't an actual tutorial on how to clean an interior, but more so the product and tools you need to complete that task. Now this is perfect for if you're just starting off and want to do this as a side hobby or if you want to start your own car detailing business, this will be a great uh, starting point for you. So let's get started. Uh, first things first, I will say is that uh, what I try to do is I always try to find tools and products that have many different applications. So um, I'm not going to use a specific dashboard cleaner just for dashboard. I'm not going to use a, a specific leather cleaner just for leather cleaner because that's going to make me buy more product. It's going to take up more space in my van and it's going to kind of complicate the detailing process which doesn't need to be done. So for instance, this is a this is actually a waterless wash cleaner but I use this for glass and windows inside the interior and this is from Chemical Guys. Uh, don't worry about the product and tools that I'm going to mention. I'm going to have a link down below and you can see all these tools and products. I'll give you different uh, price points on each product uh, depending on you know your preference, what you want to buy, how much you want to spend. Um, but um, we'll continue and give you more tips along the way. Uh, these two products is actually a uh, all-purpose cleaner, APC, and this one's diluted 10 to 1 and this one's diluted 4 to 1. And basically what that means is uh, it's 10 parts water, one part solution, four parts water, one part solution. So this makes it as an aggressive cleaner and this makes it as a semi-aggressive cleaner. So if the interior is really bad, if it's really nasty, I'll use an aggressive cleaner. If it's not so bad, if it needs a mild cleaning, I'll use a uh, semi-aggressive cleaner. So that's the cool thing about APCs is that uh, you can dilute it to the application needed. So if you have a really, 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 really dirty, or not just interior, but anything, uh, you, can, you can dilute it one to one, to one four to one, what have you, so you can uh, tackle that specific problem that you have with an APC. So uh, these are three brushes that I have here, which I've tried, which I've used all of them. Um, and again, you'll see that I have a bunch of tools and products, but I don't really use all of them. I do use these in certain parts, but 90% of the time, all the work will be done with this brush here, whether it be a leather, cloth, uh, any type of fabric, plastic, uh, uh, door panels will all be done with this interior brush. Again, uh, towels, uh, mirrors and glass are a bit tricky to clean, so you do need to, I would recommend to get a specific uh, glass mirror towel as it makes life just a tad bit e easier. Um, what I don't have shown here are all my microfiber towels since they are pretty dirty right now. Um, but you will need, uh, and you don't need to buy, you don't need to, you know, you can go to AutoZone if you want or your local automotive part, parts store to buy like a bulk of uh, interior towels or towels um, because those, those are low quality but, you know, the interior is going to get, you know, your towels are going to get completely trashed uh, on the first go if, if, it, if the interior is pretty bad. So, uh, um, I, again, I'll have all those uh, recommendations down below in the link. Uh, but again, you can go to your local auto parts store and spend, you know, X amount for 20 towels because uh, they're going to get really dirty uh, even on the first interior cleaning. So next is we have all these brushes again uh, this is a raised glaze brush set uh, but I only use these two brushes 90% of the time. These other ones very 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 rare that I use these so I use these two big brushes uh, for the most part. Um, and again, that'll be for the more detailed areas, the nooks, the crannies, the, cr uh, the vents, the dashboard where you gotta get into those tight spots. Of course, with a vacuum again, you will need two attachments that I highly, highly recommend. And it's this uh, fat nose brush and this skinny nose brush. I don't know if that's the actual name of it. I just call them that. But this one's great for the dashboard. Instead of you trying to uh, get into the cracks and crevices, you can easily just vacuum all the dust out with this. And of course, this could be for everything else on the, on the, on the seats, on the uh, flooring, uh, in the real tight spots between the, the, the center console and the seats. Now, uh, this is actually a wheel brush, a wheel lug nut brush, but if there's an interior that's really, really dirty, and let's say in the cup holders, there's just like this, you know, nasty gunk on there, and I don't, even, I don't want anything else to touch this, I'll, I'll bring this brush out and I'll clean it uh, with this brush, because this is probably one of the, 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 t the toughest brushes I have, and uh, it can probably withstand anything. So if it's really, really dirty, I'll use this lug nut brush, um, so I don't get anything else dirty. Um, and uh, this is a pet hair brush. This is a freaking awesome tool. You cannot do interior cleanings without it, especially if there's dog hair, cat hair, any type of hair. Uh, this will just save you so, so, so much time uh, when, you're, have to, when you're dealing with any type of uh, uh, hair in an interior. And then the old trusted toothbrush. So obviously you shouldn't spend any money on this because you should already have one, hopefully. And uh, you can just use an old one. But uh, yes, this has come in handy so many times for real like odd areas that I can't reach, for very tight areas. A toothbrush has saved me many, many times. 
Now you want tape, uh, just so you can like kind of tape a before and after on whether it be leather or cloth on the fabric, uh, on the flooring, on the door panels, just so you can tape a 50-50. And you can see the before side and the after side uh, after you cleaned it and you can just see the difference, take photos if you want, show your friends and family, uh, so on and so forth. So this here is a McCullough steamer, I think it's a uh, 1385 steamer. Um, when I first started my decently business, I did buy a VX5000 and that sucker cost about a thousand dollars ship to my house. This one cost $200 and I am more than happy with this one. I mean the, the VX5000 was absolutely amazing uh, but for when I started for you know the, the, the reasons why I needed it I, I, didn't, I didn't you know actually need that type of steamer at that time and to this point I don't need that type of steamer. Um, so this one is a $200 steamer. Uh, it's very inexpensive and it does everything that I absolutely needed to do uh, without spending the thousand dollars. But again the VX5000 is an absolutely amazing machine. Um, this here is my vacuum. Again, this is a very compact uh, vacuum. This is actually a vacuum and this is actually a blower, which I rarely ever use. Uh, but again, I needed something compact for my detailing van, uh, as it is very small, so I needed something compact. Uh, so, you know, for you, this one I think costs around $100. $160, I believe so, I could be completely wrong. Uh, but again, you can spend $40 if you want, if you're just starting off. I just need something really compact. Uh, so it's gonna really depend on what you need. Um, and that's pretty much it for the most part on the interior products and tools that I personally use. Again, I do have a uh, detailing business and when I and I get called out for interior cleanings a, a lot. So uh, for interior cleanings, my main, main products that I absolutely work with every single time will this be interior brush, these three products, and again, it doesn't matter if it's in leather or, or cloth or door panels or dashboard, these are the main tools that I use. If there's any type of hair involved, the fair hair brush. And of course the essentials like the vacuum, the hoses, the vacuum attachments. Uh, and a steamer depending on the type of material. Because again, there have been times where it's been a filthy cloth uh, cloth interior, that's say like on an SUV and I won't even bust up the steamer because I have a system in place and I know what to do and the steamer will actually kind of slow me down. Uh, that probably doesn't make sense because the steamer should speed you up but uh, in terms of how I work, it will, it'll be the brush, these three solutions um, and a few brushes. Uh, but again, you don't need to go crazy if, you are gonna start, if you're just now starting to buy products, if you want to get into detailing business, if, you know, if you're just in the early phases of, of either, uh, start off small, don't buy a bunch of products because again, when I started I did have an, a, a specific dashboard cleaner, I did have a specific window cleaner, a specific leather cleaner and that just made me buy a lot more products, it took a lot more space and most of those products were replaced by what I just rec uh, what I just told you here. So then I just had products collecting dust in my garage for no reason, and that was just money wasted, time wasted, uh, and you know I didn't get much out of it. So this is what I use. This is what I recommend. Again, check the link below, and then you have just you can uh, see all the options that I show you, whether it be more expensive, cheaper, uh, different brands within the same price range, just so you can get, get options and get an idea of what you should look for. Um, but other than that, uh, well, this wraps up this video. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Comments. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. So, uh, Subscribe to the YouTube channel as we're going to be coming out with a lot more videos. And uh, I hope to see you on the next video. So I'll see you later. Take care, guys.